one highlighty thing. One highlighty thing, not highlighty stuff. Highlighty thing. Almost like dirty, old, peachy pink sort of color. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and it was another really girly week. I think Valentine's Day again. I was just feeling the girly sort of pink makeup and then I also have one product that I am just head over heels for. So it's a very highlighty, glowy sort of product. So I was into kind of highlighty, glowy sort of makeup too this week. So I'm gonna talk about that and yeah. Just a lot of girly stuff, some highlighty stuff. Really just one highlighty thing. One highlighty thing, not highlighty stuff. Highlighty thing. So anyway, lots of fun things to share, so let's jump into it. On my nails this week, I wore Zoya's Eden. It's this really sweet, just kind of classic, girly pink polish. It's a cream finish, there's no kind of shimmer in it, um, but it applied really nicely. It was easy to use. It's worn well, other than these two nails, which kind of they really kind of took one for the team when I was trying to open some makeup products. So those are chipped, but every one, all the other ones are fine. Well, this one's chipping a little bit. Overall though, it's worn really well and I like how easy it was to apply. And it's just a pretty shade. I feel like my BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Palette is just like a go-to Valentine's palette for me because I've broken it out around Valentine's Day the last couple of years and I just love it. Like first off, I love the packaging. I think it looks very vintage and very kind of 50s because it's that sort of like, almost like dirty, old, peachy pink sort of color, which that's not a very good description. That doesn't sound very appealing, but it just looks vintage to me. So I love the packaging, but then also like, I like the products inside. Um, I like the shadows. I've been using this pink as a blending shade. I have this on my lower lash line. This is a great color for deepening up your outer V. They are a little bit dry, but I don't find them to be difficult to use on the eyes. So I think that they, they swatch okay, but I think that they actually perform on the eyes a lot better than they swatch. Yeah. I mean, swatches don't look bad, but on the eyes, I feel like it's a lot better. And it's nice that it's like a do-it-all sort of palette that you have everything in there together. So it's just kind of an easy palette to grab, but also girly and vintage, and it just makes me happy to use it. I really like that palette. And then the thing that I was absolutely loving so much this week is the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. My sweet friend Melissa, Makeup Phases with Mel, sent me a little goodie package, and this was in there, and I can't put this down. I've got it on my eyes, I've got it on the inner corner of my eyes, on my lid, as my highlight today. It's just so pretty. I had swatched this at Ulta and I was really considering getting it. So I was so excited and thankful that she sent it to me. Like that was just the sweetest surprise. Let me show you some of these. Like this purple, oh my gosh, I have leftover forever nude palette on my finger. But this purple, that's what I have on the inner corner of my eyes. It's just gorgeous. This kind of like yellowy sort of a highlight. This is the bigger one down here. So this one's super yellowy. This one's kind of a lighter yellow. So this is the lighter yellow. I love them. They are just beautiful. Like I feel like it's just, if you've wanted to kind of experiment with different sort of tones of highlighters, get this palette because it's got it all in there. I mean, there are like pinky ones, kind of more bronzy ones, sort of rosy ones gold. I think the purple one is my favorite though. I love it. Oh my gosh. I have just been going ham with this palette. Like I said, on my eyes, on the inner corners of my eyes, on my cheekbones. I haven't used it on this, the, like the center part of my lips, but that would be another way to use it too, to kind of like give the sort of ombre plumper lip sort of look, but it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can't put it down. I'm in love with it. I mean, it's beautiful for face highlights, but it's also really pretty on the eyes too. So if you've been looking at this, thinking about it, I love it. So maybe give it a closer look because maybe you would love it too, because I really love it. I think it's really good. On my cheeks this week, I kept grabbing for the Chanel blush. This is Rose Petal. I bought this used, but I mean, I don't care. I don't care that it was used because there's still a lot of product left in here. And this is just the prettiest, kind of like 
everyday pinky rose sort of color. I have Jersey from Chanel and I love it. I love their blushes. I just feel like they blend into the skin so nicely. I feel like they don't swatch very well. Like even when I'm swatching them, I was swatching them at the counter the other day. I feel like swatches, they really don't look all that impressive, but something really amazing happens on your face. Like it just, they blend so nicely, they blend effortlessly, and then they just wear really well. I don't know, I can't really pinpoint like why I like them so much because you guys know I'm more of a drugstore girl um, or like Sephora prices. I just don't really get into luxury makeup a lot, but I really like the Chanel blushes a lot. That's why I bought it used because then I have a Chanel blush. And it's just beautiful. Rose Petal is such a pretty color, has a little bit of warmth to it. I do have it on my cheeks today, but then I have the highlight on top of it and then I have something underneath it. So I have a lot going on with my face today. Again, I feel like I've said that in the last several Friday favorites because I keep just kind of, I don't know. I always go ham with my makeup, but I really, I have a lot going on again today, but that's okay. So Rose Petal is just a really pretty kind of warm, everyday rosy shade. It's beautiful and I love the formula. On my lips this week, I wore a lot of different pink shades, so I have a couple of standouts. First off is Urban Decay's Native. My friend Trisha, a glittery life, has mentioned this a couple of times recently in videos and I had really kind of forgotten about this. Like this has been a favorite of mine before and just a real standout in my collection and I just haven't worn it recently. So I was so glad she mentioned it because it like reminded me to take it out. It's the prettiest color. It's really kind of more of a nude, but it's like a pinky peachy nude. So it pulls pretty pink on my lips. I find when I wear it, it looks like kind of more like a light, like a light nudie pink, more pink than nude, but it's so beautiful. It's a really nice cream finish. It's very opaque, really beautiful on the lips. It doesn't wear like crazy long, but a good amount of time for being a creamy lipstick, but it's just so comfortable on your lips. And I feel like it's just one of those colors that you would get a lot of use out of. So if you have this in your collection and you've forgotten about it, like I had, break this one back out because it's so pretty. And I love this gloss from Buxom. This is in Olivia. This was part, I got this for Christmas and it was part of that big like wheel looking holiday special edition set. So this was one of them in that set. So Olivia, it's a very shimmery gloss, like especially when you look at it in the tube, it looks very shimmery, but that's what I love about it. I've been into shimmery glosses recently. So it's got, it's kind of like a raspberry red sort of color and it's got some purple micro shimmer, some pink and some like raspberry red sort of tones to it. Really pretty. I'm wearing it over um, native. So you can kind of see what they look like together. So really, I mean, you don't see like a lot of glitter on my lips. It just kind of looks shiny. So it's really pretty over something, but also by itself. So you can see it there. It just like catches the light so nicely. Isn't that pretty? So it kind of like that purpley shift sort of like catches the light. Ooh, I love it. So it's overall kind of like a raspberry pink color, but then it has that different shift to it, which really makes it interesting and fun. These do have like a plumping sort of feeling to them, but I would describe it as more like a cooling plumping sensation versus like a tingle. Some people would maybe say ting like a tingling sensation, but I think they just feel kind of cold on your lips. But I do feel like they plump a little bit, which is a nice little added bonus. I love the Buxom glosses. So that was such a nice set that you got like a ton of different colors in there to try. So I love this one. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.